As supply chain problems continue and shoppers are seeing a combination of product shortages and higher prices. So what is being done to fix this? Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino talked with some experts. He is joining us live from Weathersfield with more. And Mike, why do we continue to see these shortages? Well, Aaron, there's a number of factors that just continue to happen. One is that many shoppers have changed how they go shopping during the pandemic. Meanwhile, many companies are faced with labor shortages and the Omicron surge is forcing more people to miss time because they're sick. So I also asked these experts, what are companies doing about this? Every time you go, there's a few things. There are certainly more than a few things missing. Having trouble finding what you want at the store? Well, you're not alone. Experts say that the supply chain continues to cause shortages in consumer goods. But just how bad is it? Normally, you have about 7% of items on the shelves that uh, are not available. Now it's getting up to about 15%. Experts say there are several reasons why we continue to see shortages. Just look at pet food. More people have adopted pets, which is driving up demand. But companies are also having a harder time finding key items to make and package the food. And then... There's the shortage on truck drivers. The whole supply chain has experienced issues because of the need to transport our goods. The Omicron surge is making things worse. Workers across the supply chain having to stay home sick. But we're nearly two years into the pandemic, so why aren't companies adjusting? The people are really turning around and they keep hoping, you know, from a sense of inertia. I don't want to have to change the way we do things. One problem, the cost. For example, a lockdown in Asia would mean worsening the shortage of microchips used in cars and other items. But in some sectors of the economy, like in food products, companies are finding ways to be more flexible. Customers are also feeling the supply chain problems at the register. The prices. This is where this is where the people, public to me, is getting hammered. So can anything be done to bring down prices? There is very little in terms of action that will be able to take away the pain. Now, one thing those experts said you should not do is if you get worried about supply, don't go out and just buy everything you can get your hands on. This can lead others to think that there's a shortage and panic buy. Instead, they said, of course, go around, look at stores in your area, and you can go online. Many stores nowadays allow you to shop online and pick up in store. This allows you to see what they have in inventory, even if you want to go to the store to get it. Live from Rocky Hill, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Outness News.